guys, what's up? This is Dato Olive Alex back with the another tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make that cool sort of distortion hyper zoom and if you watch Sam Holder um, India vlog which is in the first episode he shows some of the uh, moment he had a Taj Mahal with the friends it, but uh, video is sort of zoom in and then the footage is sort of warping lean forward it's like flip and it's, it's really a fantastic sort of uh, transition so I'm going to teach you how you can make that using only Sony Vegas now I already made it right now I already done it earlier because if I made it through all all, all the way to the tutorial it would just take forever so anyway basically you want to add a two uh, timeline here the first timeline here above is your shockwave effect some of you guys might know some of you guys might don't know I want to disable that first because this thing will be the last thing you made it now on the second track here on the bottom uh, once you have your both footage uh, properly applied side by side here you want to change the composition mode into 3D source alpha so once you select 3D source alpha you basically enable track motion so what I basically have done is I uh, find which spot that I want to make the distortion to start and which part you should end on the second footage here so basically the entire length of the distortion hyperzoom effect will be lasting around 4 or 5 seconds from the first marker here to the end so where you should put the marker it depends on you usually I I'll take a look on the video when it's sort of around 2 seconds from the end of the clip it's 2 seconds backwards the same goes to the second clip it's 2 seconds forward so around that number is the best um, place where you should put I mean the markers so the marker is the guide for you to apply the um, track motion so anyway once you enable 3d source alpha you want to go to your track motion here and on the first keyframe uh, over here which is just right on the track marker here basically what I have done I add a one keyframe and then I go all the way to the second keyframe which is nicely on between on the first overlap of these two clip here which is two frame here on the first one here and what I have done is I uh, actually move the front face of the clip forward so it's kind of flip forward and I change the perspective quite a bit so let me reset it into uh, current position this is how it's supposed to look like so basically what I have done is I go to the front face make sure you uh, uncheck log expert ratio make sure this one is checked this one and this one and the rest is unchecked and basically what I have done I just uh, bring this a little bit forward like that you can see it start to tilting and then on the perspective I just make it bigger and I move it a little bit around here so it fit nicely on the screen or your preview so that's how you make it um, flip forward is distorting forward that's how you made it and then you want to go all the way to your second marker here and set to your normal perspective and I add another marker keyframe here so basically this uh, make the um, track motion look even smoother so basically what I have done here you can see here is the first and the second so basically what I have done on this uh, empty space here I move around somewhere around here almost in the middle of here I add another keyframe and I bring it a uh, little bit backward this is side by side to the uh, first of the uh, this distorted uh, perspective so it's, it's kind of fast uh, it's going fast to its uh, uh, current position and then slowly fade away into its current 
look so that's how you set your track motion and basically on the last key here I set it to smooth same goes to this one here smooth and this other two is empty pretty much you are done on the uh, track motion and next you want to add a sort of pan and crop zooming with the first footage here just on the right side so what I have done on the first marker here again I zoom in slightly in so you can see from the very beginning of the footage it's in the default mode as zooming all the way slight in and then I go all the way forward here it's zooming rapidly to the side I will, I will explain why I zoom in to the side and then you zoom in entirely into it it's uh, hyper zoom mode so basically it's one two three four five six seven keyframe apart and of course it's slow on the first and fast on the last key and then what I have done is I add uh, Sapphire plugins on the first uh, video track here and um, basically like a normal uh, uh, if you watch my last tutorial you just simply uh, move around the Z disk uh, enable some wrap and stuff but uh, this time slightly different approach on my last tutorial I uh, set the the uh, length between of the first and the last key is somewhere around 7 keyframe but this time you want to set it into 15 keyframe so um, so you're gonna go you want to go to the last keyframe of the first Z this here which is over here you're gonna set it to uh, 100 and then uh, 15 keyframe backwards set it to normal so it's kind of zoom in so basically you have that really nice motion of zoom in so basically you got zoom in from the pen and crop and zoom in from sapphire plugins and then um, as usual you want to put some reflections and you want to set it into full on the first uh, of the uh, zoom in of the z disk but uh, I don't set it actually but never mind you must uh, check that if you want to have much more nicer look on your video so yeah that's how you made it and then I add some rotation of course because Sam Holder video he put some uh, lean forward and then the video sort of rotate so where do you put the first key of the rotation it is somewhere in between on the on the marker and the last of the footage here so it's somewhere around the middle of here which is over here right so you're gonna add your first marker of the rotation which is this one here and then on the very last of the, your first footage you want to set it into a negative 90 you want to set it both of it into smooth as usual and the 15 keyframe part of the Z-Disk is of course usual slow and fast and one more thing you see this cross section here you need to play around with it because it will give you some different perspective since we are rotating uh, we want to rotate it and then we move slightly upward so we want to move this around you can see if I move this uh, over here can see the video start to zoom in uh, in different place so you want to play that around and uh, like I said earlier why I made this pen and crop move to the side is because since I rotating I want it to zoom in upwards so that's why I move this uh, pen and crop uh, to the left so it's look it's kind of moving forward is actually going to left so that's how you made it is it seven keyframe part I think so so that's how you made it on for the first footage for the uh, uh, distortion of the hyper zoom and one more thing I add is the brightness and contrast 
Once you add your brightness and contrast on the first key frame, you want to check animation on the brightness and contrast. This you, you want to set uh, how it's supposed to look like. Then once you're done, you want to move all the way to the end of the clip. You want to set the brightness to 390 and the contrast is 500. Same goes apply to the second footage here. And on the second footage, uh, uh, as usual, we got to add blur mode curve here. The Z disk and uh, on the first uh, keyframe, the Z disk to the second key is 50 frame apart. As usual, this is a uh, fast fade. Why I don't set it? I don't know. This is supposed to be fast fade, and this one should be slow. I don't check that. That's why it's weird. So once you're done, and uh, this one on the second footage, it's not. Uh, you want to zoom in slightly a little bit more just 2.5 or 2.3 around that number it will look fine if you put it only two you don't get that really nice depth of zoom in sort of transition and that rotation same just like the first footage here it's somewhere on the between on the middle here which is on the second key mark key marker and the first of the second footage here so it's somewhere around the middle here so I set it over here of the rotation and the first uh, keyframe of the rotation is 90 since the set, uh, first footage is negative 90 on the end of the first footage so you want to start with 90 percent on the first uh, keyframe on the second footage here and then go all the way to zero to its normal perspective and again smooth uh, fading and of course you want to add some blur resolution just quarter and full uh, based on the z disk and again you want to move around with this uh, cross point here so it looks sort of nice and blend when it's zooming so when if you move this around the way it's zoom in it will look different so we might to play you might need to play around this quite a bit so basically you have done some of the basic things and uh forget to say uh, about it which is the brightness and contrast i don't know if i put some any uh no i don't put any things on the event panel crop so now you have done on the uh making the uh distortion sort of hyper zoom next you want to make the uh a sort of nice wavy uh, uh, what we call that things I forget the name the glitch effect yes I, I could forget that so let me turn that on so basically this is a solid color you can just simply go to video effects and go to Vegas and you can choose any solid color any color whites doesn't appear Oh, it's on the media generator. Sorry, which is on the Vegas solid color. So any color should work. So I choose white. And then once you load your solid color, you want to add some fading. Sorry, add my fade. You want to add all your fade all the way, entire length of your uh, solid color here. And then you want to set the opacity somewhere around. Uh, oops why I click that somewhere around um, 30% same goes to the timeline is somewhere around 50% then once you add an uh, this fade you fading things here you want to add uh, iris transition so you just go to transitions and search for iris you should load up and you want to put the default iris I don't know why it doesn't load up okay it's not responding this is totally bad idea okay here it is you want to drag that in and then you want to uh, select the uh, composition mode into custom and choose the height map you should uh, see this height map click that add to your uh, timeline and basically you want to put these uh, numbers here the amplitude elevation stuff exactly this number here once you add that it will give you a nice sort of wavy effect 
and then you want to turn on the stereoscopic 3d all the way to uh, 100 make sure if you want enable this uh, sort of glitchy look you want to turn on the stereoscopic 3d on the settings once you turn on your video will look sort of dull so basically what you need to do is add saturation adjust increase the low into uh, all the way to the up same goes to the second clip so it looks nice and even so it doesn't look dull when you render your video so that's how you made that cool uh, sort of distortion hyper zoom in Sony Vegas so hope you guys like my tutorial and you have if you have some trouble making this uh, distortion don't worry you can just leave down your problem in the comment section and I'll try to help you guys out and I'll put a download link for this project file so yeah thank you guys for watching and have a good day